everybody, welcome back to PvP Dinner Theater. I'm Hillhouse, and today is a special day for the channel. Today we start our great gaming and healthy living section of the channel. I'm very excited about this. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long time, and I'm very happy that we're starting to get it going. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I hope that you guys will follow along. I hope you'll participate, and I hope we get some new viewers out of it. I want to create a community of people who encourage and inspire each other and share our stories and our struggles. I think that it's very important to have people that you can communicate with and talk to about these subjects and get some actual good feedback, some healthy advice on what you should do or some healthy opinion on what you should do. Um, I want to state, first of all, before we go any further, speaking of advice, that I am not a professional and I am not here to give you advice on what to do. I am not telling you what exercises or what foods to eat. I will not do that. I will give you my opinion on what's worked for me and what's worked for other people that I know. I will give you my opinion on that. However, I will not give you advice because I am not a medical professional. Before you start any kind of exercise or diet program, you need to go to your doctor. Go to your doctor, make sure that you're healthy enough to exercise, make sure that you're healthy enough to do anything extreme with your diet, and make sure that you're on the right track. You do not want to hurt yourself doing anything like this. Before I get started, I do want to say this uh, about the channel. I, I don't tolerate hate. I don't tolerate trolling. I don't tolerate bullying. If you're going to pick on somebody because of their size, then you're not in the channel. You're not part of the community. If you're here to do anything other than support or encourage the fellow community members in this section, then I'll be quite honest with you, we don't need you here. We don't need bullies and we don't need mean people. What we need is encouragement. We need a little bit of love, man. We need to spread some, some good vibes. And that's what this is about. So that's what I'm going to do. If I catch you trolling, being racist, being a bully, any of that, I'm kicking you off. So fair warning, guys. No bullying, no trolling, no racism, period. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. Um, several years ago, I was in a bad accident out in the Nevada desert. I was on a four-wheeler, ended up going off a cliff, and I flew pretty far, uh, it was right after the spring runoff, so there was a lot of empty riverbeds that were deep. And I uh, hit a lip on a cliff, went over, destroyed the bike, and destroyed myself a little bit. Um, had no major injuries that they could see at the time, but I did end up causing injury to my back. I fractured some of my vertebrae, which caused some disc damage. Now, after years of not really paying attention to it and doing my normal thing and not taking care of myself... Uh, I was getting slower, I wasn't eating healthy, and my back was progressively getting worse. Uh, there were many times when I was laid out for days at a time, and I just figured, oh, okay, you know, you just tweaked your back, no big deal. Never thought about it. Until it got to the point where I almost couldn't walk. Uh, almost lost control of everything from the waist down. So I went to my doctor, had an MRI done. Four days later, I was in emergency surgery for my back. So they repaired the disc. Um, I was supposed to get up and walk right away. But I couldn't. The nerve damage was so bad that I ended up spending another 45 days in bed. Uh, during that time, all I did was eat crap. I didn't take care of myself. So I ballooned up to almost 300 pounds. And I was playing a game with my daughter one day on Skype. We were playing a bowling game. And I hit print screen, took a picture of myself. And after the game, that picture popped up. And I stopped and I st stared at this picture for a long time. And I was, who is that? What is going on? I didn't see it in the mirror. I didn't see it in my clothes. I was wearing sweats all the time, things that were easy to put on, t-shirts, etc. And I was in bed for 45 days. So I didn't see what was happening. I didn't take notice of the change that was happening to me. And I was shocked, to be honest with you. I'd never been that big. Um, I would always... I was always able to maintain my weight uh, through my military service in the Army and the Marine Corps. Uh, I spent time as an apprentice chef for a year and a half, and um, I was able to maintain my weight then. Uh, but I just had, uh, because of the injury, the pain pills, and eating crap, I bloomed up to almost 300 pounds. So when I saw that, I made a vow to myself. I made a promise to myself, nobody else. And I said that when I felt better, I was going to get out of bed, I was going to start moving, and I was going to make sure that I was eating healthy. So what kind of changes did I have to make? Well, number one rule that I made was I was going to drink more water. 
I started drinking half of my body weight in ounces of water. So I weighed almost 300 pounds, so I was drinking approximately 150 ounces of water every day. Was I chugging it? No. But I counted the stuff that I used while I was walking, because uh, you drink a lot of water. Um, anytime that I would have water, I carried around a 30 ounce water bottle and I drank water all the time, period. Cut out soda, cut out Kool-Aid, cut out everything. The second promise I made to myself was that I was going to not eat anything that came out of a box. So I made everything fresh. The only thing that I did have that came out of a container was my yogurt, my cottage cheese. That was it. Everything else was lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, lots of healthy, lean meats. And it that gave me the opportunity to go back to my apprentice chef days where I could take a good quality four-star restaurant meal that was full of fat filled flavor. Say that three times fast. And I could take that meal and I could turn it into something healthy that still tasted good, that still tasted like restaurant quality food. And that's what I want to do. I want to share these recipes with you, share what I'm doing for exercise, share what I'm doing for a diet, what my successes are and what my failures are. Because we're going to have plenty of successes, but we're also going to have failures. If you don't fail, you'll never learn how to succeed, right? So we're going to have those failures, but we are got to be here as a community of people together so that we can talk through them and we can help each other through those hurdles and those struggles because that's what it's all about, man. Uh, we need that encouragement. We need those that friendship. We need that, that advice is what it is. We need that opinion. So that's what I want to create with this community and I want it to be something healthy. What is healthy? What does healthy mean? Healthy is a broad term, if you ask me. Um, a lot of these fitness magazines, Hollywood, TV, whatever, they're going to give you their opinion of what healthy is. They're going to tell you, you have to be skinny. You have to fit into a size zero if you're a girl. You have to fit into a size 30 if you're a guy. You have to um, you know, be a supermodel on a runway. Bullshit. That isn't true. I feel good at 180, 175 pounds. That's where I feel good. So my goal is I'm going to lose around 50 pounds because I'm about 230, 235 pounds right now. That's what I weigh. But I feel healthy at 175, 180. You might feel healthy at 200. Another guy might feel healthy at 165. Another lady might feel good at 120. Or another one might feel good at 165, 170. It doesn't matter. What do you feel good at? What do you feel you look good at? That's what matters. Because if you feel good, you're going to show it. If you feel like you look good, you're going to rock it when you walk. It's going to exude from you. You're going to ooze confidence. You're going to ooze that, hey, you know what? I look good. I feel good. That's all that matters. Everybody else's opinion doesn't matter. What matters is yours. You tell me where that is. You show me where that is, and I will encourage you 100% of the way. Because that's what you think makes you feel good, so that's what you know. You know better than me. It's your body. That's how you need to look at it. That's how you need to approach it. Quit letting people and quit letting society tell you what is healthy. How do they know? Does that mean that I'm going to encourage you to go out and eat a tub of butter every day? Hell no. That ain't going to happen. I'm not going to do that. Because that's, to be quite honest with you, that's stupid. What makes you feel good? What makes you feel healthy? Because you know your body better than other people. Some people carry a few extra pounds and look and feel great. Some people don't. That's just the way it is. Some people look and feel great when they're at 6% body fat. Some people don't. That's just the way it is. So we need to encourage everybody's differences. We need to celebrate those differences. We need to encourage everybody's successes. And we need to help each other through our struggles. That's what the purpose of this channel is going to be. Every week, I'm going to feature a new subject where it could be a diet. Let's say the keto diet, the Atkins diet, low carb cycling. Uh, anything like that. We're, I'm going to feature that once a week with a recipe. So I'm going to talk in depth about what that is going to be. I'm going to do the research and I'm going to glean from it what I can and give you guys the best scoop and the honest truth on what I think it is, what my opinion is on it. And not whether it'll work or not, because I don't know if it'll work for you or not. I'm not going to tell you that it won't work. Atkins diet may work for you. Carb cycling may work for you. Um, it's nothing but the keto diet may work for you paleo diet may work for another person. You never know. 
you have to do what's going to fit for your body because all of our bodies are different. So I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just going to tell you this is what we have available. Guys, if you want to come with me on this journey, if you're looking for a place that you can go and get some encouragement, maybe get some, some information, maybe a little bit of opinion on what you can do and and where you can go for the information that you need, maybe some healthy recipes. You just like cooking. You don't want to deal with any of the other crap. That's fine, man. Join us. Join us. Support everybody. Let's create a community of gamers that actually gives a crap about each other that actually gives a crap if we're gonna be around long enough to see that next expansion. Cause that's what I want. I wanna see all you guys in there. I wanna see every one of you guys on my friends list. I wanna see every one of you guys wanting to come play that game so that we can have a good time together. So that we can still be around for a long time to come. We can teach our kids this gaming lifestyle, right? So that's what it's all about for me, guys. I hope that you're going to come with me. I hope that you'll be encouraged and inspired by what's going to happen. I really think that this could be a good thing. And I hope it grows into a strong community of people that, that actually do care about each other. So, hey, guys, from PVP Dinner Theater, I'm Hill House. And I thank you all for watching. I hope you'll stick around. So until next time, great games and healthy living.